This is awesome. I mean, look at this. We're literally under the sea. Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, you're so adorable. The iconic Monsters Inc. popcorn bucket here. They have merchandise for everything. Tokyo Disney Sea, you are on another level. Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to a video that I've been wanting to make for a long, long time. Yes, I am at Tokyo Disneyland at the moment. The Toy Story Hotel to be more precise. My voice is gone because I've been chatting and talking a lot. I guess vlogging over the past week. So forgive my voice, but I am so excited. This morning we checked into this hotel. Our room won't be ready until later on in the day, about four o'clock, I think they said. But <laughs> I mean, the check-in process itself. Let me just show you a couple of things. So firstly, cast members here are can I just say it? The best cast members I've ever seen. Honestly, they are phenomenal. Today is the 14th of August, 2023, and my birthday was a couple of weeks ago. And I didn't tell anybody this, but when I checked in, they obviously saw my passport. It's very much a thing where when you check into any hotel in Japan, they need to see everybody's passports, not just the person that booked it. So I booked this, but they still needed to see my aunt and cousin's passport as well. And yeah, after we checked in, just before we were about to leave, the cast member gave me this. She was like, oh, your birthday was not long ago, so happy birthday. And it's just a happy birthday sticker, 40th anniversary of Disneyland Tokyo. And they also gave me a card, which hopefully you'll be able to see right now as well. It was just an amazing way to start this journey. So yes, I'm very excited to share the next few days with you. Hopefully my voice will carry on. Otherwise I do have my cousin with me. She might take over a little bit in the vlogs at times, but I'll show you as much as I can. I am so excited, I've even got my Toy Story backpack here. Cast members have already complimented it, of course, with us being in this beautifully themed Toy Story hotel. I am just so happy, basically. If you just ignore my voice, know that I am... <sighs> I'm really excited, guys. I'm so excited. And we have this with all our information in there. Basically, for the first three days of our stay, we have a package deal, which meant that we have tickets all included. We have a couple of fast passes that were included we get like some gift vouchers and food vouchers drink vouchers things like that this is for the first three days then after that we are changing hotels and for the last two days we're gonna have to get our um, park tickets separately and we won't have any fast passes or anything so we thought we would try both types of doing Tokyo Disney and hopefully I can you know give you some answers as to which is the best way to do it but this hotel is amazing make sure you keep watching make sure you subscribe because I will definitely be doing a full tour of this beautiful fantastic dream hotel of mine coming up at some point this is my cousin Hi, good you're loving this hotel so yes, far as well right it's amazing it is amazing there are so many details very well themed <laughs> have you got the map and with so you? colorful I know it's so good <laughs> Can you show the map very quickly? And you noticed a game on there already, right? Yes. Yeah. What is it? Um, you're supposed to find things around the hotel and like picture spots. And when you have answered all the questions, they give you a sticker and you become a space ranger. You become a space ranger. <laughs> have you done some of them already? Two of them. <laughs> <gasps> Amazing. And my cousin's already been inside the shop and you said it was... Amazing. Can't wait to check it out. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to see a full tour of this hotel. It is currently raining quite heavily outside. It's going to be raining probably on and off for the next few days because the typhoon is approaching. But one amazing thing about this hotel, well, one of many amazing things, is that even though this is classed as a budget hotel, they just have everything. The cast members are happy to do anything that you ask, like obviously within reason. But we just asked if they had any umbrellas. They were like, of course, wait a couple of minutes and we can just take them and obviously bring them back. You guys are currently chilling under the umbrella so you don't get wet. But here's a sneak peek at the entrance of this phenomenal hotel, like legitimately the dream hotel for me. You guys know how much I love Toy Story. We're going to be getting the monorail to Disney Sea, Disney Resort Line Bayside Station. So excited to experience the Tokyo Disney monorail for the first time. I've heard great things. And here it is. There's one just going past right now. It's celebrating the 40th anniversary dream go round of Tokyo Disney and it looks gorgeous. Honestly, I don't think it feels real yet that I'm actually here. Like, I am so overwhelmed. This is the station that we're going to go in. Guys, the monorails are so cute here. The windows are Mickey shaped and even the handles apparently inside are as well. Uh, so we are at the monorail station oh, now and I just spotted something similar to fish and dolphin. <laughs> there is 
I think that's the hotel and Sam and Lord. But they look like actual dolphins are like the one from uh, Florida, right? Where it's the with... dolphin does not look like a dolphin. No, no. and that's called swan and dolphin. Yeah, or, yeah. It's swan and dolphin, but we yeah. call it swan and swan and fish, don't we? No, because yes, yeah, swan and fish. Me and you like fish, to call it yeah. swan and fish because it doesn't, doesn't look like a dolphin. Oh my god, there's a monorail! Look at this! So unlike the monorail at Walt Disney World and Disneyland California, you do actually have to purchase tickets to be able to ride it, but honestly it's not expensive at all. Um, a single ticket would cost you about 260 yen, which is probably less than two pounds, I would say. And then here you can see they've got day passes, two day passes, three day passes, four day passes. I think we're going to go for the three day passes because we're at the Toy Story Hotel for the next couple of nights. So I think from the Toy Story Hotel, the best way is to get the monorail. So we're going to get three of this and this is 1,200 yen which is less than 10 pounds probably close to like seven pounds maybe which is amazing for three days it's going to change the language to english this is my first time doing this three people here we are we've got our tickets oh my god these are so cute these are adorable and then these are the rest of our change Oh my god guys look at the Mickey handles they are so cute and the monorail is also just looks very comfortable it's also air con it feels very new I mean I would happily pay even more than I paid for to use the monorail here well the journey from Toy Story Hotel to Tokyo Disney Sea only took maybe about five minutes max and here it is this is Tokyo Disney Sea this is the entrance of it I can't believe I'm actually seeing the globe as you can see down there though it is raining quite heavily I mean there's a lot of water on the ground so it's going to be <laughs> quite a challenging day for me to vlog but I'll show you as much as I can. I cannot wait honestly. And that, there is a tower of terror. Yeah! How do you feel about this? We're, we're hesitant to go out. What do you think? Should we, just, should we, should we brave it? Yeah, I'm sure. Look we're at the, look at, look how heavy it is. It's very heavy. <laughs> You've got your poncho, you're, you're all good. But it's kind of iconic because it's Disney Sea and oh my God, it's yeah. started in lots of water. True! <laughs> our journey starting with all the water. Let's all go. <laughs> Can you hear the rain? We're officially in the park. Yeah, oh my Donald. God, my back. There is Donald. Donald. It's a hat. He's there. <laughs> We have come into our first shop just to take some shelter from the rain but the entrance of Tokyo Disney Sea is stunning. It's beautiful. The amount of details everywhere. It's so immersive with the globe in the middle as well. The fountains and the water that's coming out of it from under and also because of the rain. The added effects of the rain from the top as well. It is impressive. I cannot wait to spend the next five days here and in Tokyo Disneyland as well which we're going to be going tomorrow. But I wanted to quickly talk to you about the security here as well. Security here is very similar to what Florida has been doing recently which is where you just oh hello. <laughs> Cast members just love to be on camera here, it's awesome. But yeah, security is very similar to Tokyo, um, sorry, Florida, Orlando Disney World, where you literally just walk through two metallic things. You don't have to take your bag off or anything. It scans your whole body, and if there's anything that you shouldn't be having, they'll let you know. Thankfully, it was absolutely fine for all of us. The only thing is that if you have an umbrella with you, hold it up so that it doesn't like affect the scanning. But let's have a quick look at some of the shops first and this shop seems to be dedicated solely to Duffy and Friends merch which is adorable so if you didn't know Duffy is Mickey's teddy bear and Duffy's got many friends including Shelly Mae which is I think his girlfriend or something there's Duffy over there oh my god that's Gelatoni I believe Cookie Anne who I met in Hong Kong Disneyland in 2019 um, she's adorable there you go this will give you the names of all of them so we've got Duffy the Disney bear Shelly Mae Gelatoni a friend of Duffy Stella Lou, who is like a ballerina, Cookie Anne, Olu Mel, who I've never met before, Lena Bell, who's a cat, and then yeah, I've got another Cookie Anne one. But yeah, this store, as you can see, everything Duffy. There's the cat, 
there's just so many, so many Duffy and Friends merch here. It is ridiculous, it's adorable, it's very unique to Tokyo Disneyland and most of the Asian parks to be fair, and I'm loving it. We've just walked through the next shop and already I found something that I quite like, Tokyo Disney Resort. It's got the castle 1983, of course, uh, Tokyo Disneyland is celebrating 40 years this year which is awesome. I can't believe that I'm here for his 40th anniversary, but these t-shirts are lovely. And you know what else is lovely apart from these hats? Mini. Mini Mouse up there. She looks adorable. I love the details on her outfit. Well, it seems that the rain has stopped momentarily and now it's just extremely hot, but it's much easier to vlog, which is great. Um, yeah, this is it. This is Tokyo Disney Sea. So we've just come through here and I don't, I don't really know what to say. Like, I can't believe I'm in a new park. And this park already feels so different. Look at that, just behind me over there. We've got the iconic volcano at Tokyo Disney Sea, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is Hotel Miracosta. This literally behind me is a hotel. I would love to stay there. We're not staying there on this trip. I'm definitely going to come back to Tokyo Disney and just Japan in general. I've already spent about a week in Tokyo and just the rest of Japan. Love it. And Tokyo Disney Sea, I know I'm going to fall in love with. So. It's not going to be a once in a lifetime trip for me, hopefully. I would love to come back and I'm going to make it possible somehow to come back one day. I don't know if you can hear the music, guys, but I think this, this area of the park is meant to be like Italy, Venice, that kind of thing. There's even like boats. Oh my God, my <laughs> it's very hot. It's oh, my first time ever using, using one of these handheld yeah. fans. <laughs> we need them though, but it's, it's nice. It mm -hmm. helps. It really does help. Um, what do you think of this park so far? It's very different to any Disney park yes. we've been to, right? Like, it's nice. It's nice. It's it's just I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> what you want? Do you know what's um, what we have in this park? Because I'm not. We're both first timers, obviously. But we know a couple of things that they yes, have here. I know that there is a, a park for Ariel that is like a um, indoors thing. Oh, and yeah. I know that there's a shop inside that looks like you're going inside the mouth of a veil. No way! I think it's called like the Mermaid Lagoon or something mm. like that, if I'm not mistaken, that whole area. Yeah, that's definitely here, you're right. And then I've got a couple of like, you know, unique rides. Sorry if I'm just like sweating, but it's just what happens when you're here in August. It's humid, <laughs> we knew that, and we, were, we came kind of prepared. But um, they have like, um, Simbad is like a character. We have a whole ride about him. Um, it's like, what would you say? Is it like a, not a fairy tale, but? Yes, it's just a kind of fairy tale. A kind of fairy tale, yeah. Where does it come from? Do you know that? It's is this from Iran or I'm not sure, Ara but Arabic? maybe Arabic or Iran, something like that. Sinbad is some kind of fairy tale, but Middle Iran Eastern fairy tale. Well. Yeah, and they have a whole ride dedicated mm -hmm. in here. <laughs> There's Journey into the Center of the Earth, which is meant to be quite good. And Duffy is prominent here. This is my cousin's first time experiencing Duffy anywhere. She's not a fan. No. You know, she doesn't understand it. <laughs> and I get, I get it. She's, it's complicated. It's, it's, I mean, it's not complicated. It's just. <laughs> It's so random, let's just put it that the way. The turtle, I like the turtle. Yeah, bit. his name is Olu May. Wow. Olu May. Olu? Yeah. May. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna, um, our, my aunt's just going to get a couple of drinks for us because it is hot. And then we're gonna make our way through the park. I think one of the first rides we're gonna do is Toy Story Mania. But we're now heading into Mama Biscuits because my aunt actually got a table for us, which is awesome. We can sit down for a bit and enjoy a couple of drinks. Well, we've got our coffees. They come in these very cute 40th anniversary cups. Adorable. Coffee's also very nice. We also have the famous, one of the most iconic and famous snacks that you can get across all of Tokyo Disney Resort. The Mike Wazowski Melon Bread. And my cousin's already tried it. How have you found it so far? It's good. There is actual uh, melon in it. Actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks good. Mm -hmm. And it looks adorable as well, so I'm just going to take a bite. By the way, if you want to see like all these snacks in more detail, make sure you subscribe because there's going to be a full snacks video coming. A few moments later. Okay, I think my cousin and I have both decided that so far this is one of the best snacks we've ever had, Disney snacks. It's Not, really good. Yeah, it's delicious. Like, we're definitely going to have to come back and get some more at some point, which is going to be annoying because there's so many other snacks to try, but this is, how can we say no to this? It's adorable. And it tastes delicious, isn't it? it? It genuinely just tastes like melon. And usually I actually don't like melon that much, but I really love this. It's really? really amazing. Amazing. Mm. So <laughs> there you go. And the bread itself, the melon bread, because it's basically just melon bread. Mm. It's so nice and soft and the cream inside. Oh. <laughs> it is it is on another level, this it's snack. It's really natural. It's like actual melon cream. Yeah, yeah. Like the taste bread. is very yeah. much like what you would expect from a melon. It's just the texture is different because it's, um, of course, they brought this the bread, the soft bread. So it almost feels like you're eating a melon 
in a much more adorable way and in a soft way. It's, it's, a, it's delicious, it's so good. Well, food was lovely over there, but I just wanted to show you this view that we have currently with the volcano, and you can even see the smoke coming out of it. Honestly, the detailing here is second to none, as it is with almost every Disney park, to be fair. But you can even see these boats around. The music they're playing is so iconic and goes so well, obviously, with the theming. And just the vibe in general feels so nice and relaxing. Guys, I can't get over this park. This park. And we haven't even scratched the surface of it yet. We've just arrived, more or less. We're still at the entrance, but everywhere I'm looking already, just the theming is so... I don't think I've got the words to describe it. I had heard so many people tell me that Tokyo Disney Sea is the best Disney theme park. I'm not going to make that statement quite yet because I've only just arrived, but I can already see why people say that. Because it is just so well themed. The details everywhere, everywhere you look. This just, I can't believe this is an actual theme park. How is this a theme park? Water is worth more than gold to a thirsty populate. There you go. And you can see there's some water fountains here from the mountains to the metropolis. New York City water walks. And believe it or not, this is just toilets. Our first stop of the day and our first ride is going to be Toy Story Mania, which I can kind of see some of it already. This place is called Toyville Trolley Park and it looks amazing. And Toy Story Mania, whilst I've heard is going to be the exact same as the ones in Florida and California, it just looks awesome. And you have to do all the rides whilst you're here, right? This whole area is a ride and all because of Mr. Potato Head. He's just singing in there. You know how they have Mr. Potato Head in most of the Toy Story Manias but it's much more of a vibe here in Disney Tokyo. Like everyone, all the cast members around are clapping. I think he's singing. That's what he's doing. The vibe here is amazing, guys. <laughs> guys, my cousin just noticed something incredible. Even on top of the entry sign, we've got Rex. The details, again, phenomenal. We've got Rex on one side, Ham's on the other side, just over there. And then here they've got a Slinky Dog gift trolley, which is so cute. In fact, this whole area is just stunning. Like, if you're into Toy Story, which I obviously am, that's why we're staying at the Toy Story Hotel, you're gonna love this. This little backdrop's amazing. Woody as the entrance of Toy Story Mania here is phenomenal. Like, I love that we're gonna be going inside his mouth. I've never wanted anything more than to go inside Woody's mouth. <laughs> Let's head on in. This is the priority access entrance. We've got our priority access uh, cards that we got, including in our packages. So there you go. Toy Story Mania between uh, 12 and 13 o'clock. Well, they just stamped our cards so that they can know that we've used them. And we're in to the priority line. This is awesome. Look at Woody over there. Look at Jesse. <laughs> Shout out to my friend Rebecca, she's a Jesse fan. The theming in the queue line is great, as it is in most of the Toy Story Mania. This is just a shot of me smiling at the moment because that's all I can do right now. I'm just very happy, feeling extremely lucky, extremely overwhelmed. This is my second to last Disney park to have ever done. We're going to be going to Tokyo Disneyland tomorrow and with that I'm going to have finished all the Disney parks worldwide. I just feel so happy to be here. Look at that behind me. It's a Woody and Bullseye <laughs> puzzle. A poster of it anyway with guard glasses. We're literally about to go on. Fatima, are you excited? Yes, very. I'm so happy as well. Our official first ride here in Tokyo Disneyland. My cousin just pointed out this is Andy's bedroom. Like his actual bed is here. The setup is so cool. You're yeah. The floor of Andy's room. Yeah, we li exactly. We're literally the size of toys. This is amazing. We're going to be in number one and we're trying to guess which character we're going to get. I really want Woody. Do you have a preference? Sorry? Do you have a preference Rex, as to which? Rex. My, my aunt really wants Rex. Rex would be cool. Rex is great. Yes, yes. We'll see what we get. This one's Bo Peep. Bo Peep's about to go. So <laughs> my cousin's like, I don't want Bo Peep. Yeah, Bo Peep's not the best. In Toy Story 4, she's good. Oh my God, we've got Potato Head, guys. Exciting times. Here we go. I'm going to put you guys away because I want to try and actually do well in the game. but only by a little bit and your accuracy was probably but that was so much fun on Fatima wasn't it we both love Toy Story Mania it's such a good ride we wanted in Paris Disneyland Paris needs Toy Story Mania right yeah 
Well, that's our first ride done. My cousin said she thinks it looks better than all the other Toy Story Manias out there. She's been into Florida and California as well. Um, I don't know if that's true necessarily, but I feel like it could be true because everything did look so fresh, so new, and everything just seemed a little bit cuter, you know? But the actual game was the exact same, so the, all the levels and everything, same as the Toy Story Manias in Florida and California. I loved it. Look how cute this is as well. We've got a woody marionette. There's Jesse over there as well. And oh my god, Stinky Pete is up there as well. And if you hear loud noises, it's because there's a whole game going on here. And it's free to play. And you have to get the highest level. <laughs> This Toy Story thing is the coolest thing. It's not just marionettes singing of their own accord. You've got different characters that you can control. Kids absolutely adore it. And look, I'm going to try Woody's for instance. Yeah, mina. And now I'm just controlling him. Now I'm going to do a bit of Jesse. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, is he talking? Oh, he appears, look at Bullseye. I think Stinky Pete was my favorite, look. He comes down when you, when you start to pressing it. Anyway, we've left that beautiful Toy Story section of Tokyo Disney Sea, and next to it, they've got their version of Tower of Terror, which is very unique. Even from the exterior, it just looks so different to any of the other Tower of Terrors. But I'm pretty sure the mechanism of it is the same. We don't have a fast pass for this today. We have one in a couple of days time. So we're just going to check out to see what the actual wait time is and if it's worth maybe going on it now. I have to say the queue does look pretty long though. So maybe we might just have to wait until uh, next time we're here, which is in a couple of days time. We'll see. Well, Tower of Terror had a 65 minute queue, so I don't think we're going to do it quite yet. Um, but one thing that is extremely popular, it's almost like a way of life in Japan, not just in Tokyo Disney, are these vending machines. Like if you want to buy stuff a drink or anything really, you just go to a vending machine and you just do it yourself. You don't have to go to a store for the most part. So we just found one here next to Tower of Terror and they had some cute bottled water. So of course I had to get it. Look at that. You've got the different attractions of Tokyo Disney on it. It does actually say Tokyo Disney. It's cold, which is probably not the best for my voice. I'm going to let it warm up a little bit because my voice, as you can probably tell, still not the best it's quite hoarse <clears throat> my own fault for vlogging vlogging every single day especially in the heat and obviously I'm talking to my aunt and cousin all the time as well I've just been doing a lot of talking over the past week and it's not what I normally do at home I might do a few days of vlogging then I have a few days of rest so that can happen but I'm gonna power through because I'm loving life just to know to say this is lime water by the way it's not just regular mineral water it tastes a bit of lime or lemon it's actually delicious to be fair anyway look at this section here that seems to be a restaurant United States steamship uh, dockside diner is called here we've got an actual ship it's called the US steamship not sure what it is not sure if it actually goes anywhere well this seems to be a restaurant actually and we might check it out later on but for now we're gonna go and try out uh, the turtle talk with fresh thank you hello which I think is gonna be very similar to the one in California hi well, we thought the queue for turtle crush was gonna be short but it's actually 35 minutes um, it's not gonna be any different to the one in California just in Japanese so we're actually leaving the queue now and we're gonna continue exploring this park is also very big so far we've probably only been to less than half of it also look at the sea here the bay that's the restaurant that we just walked past i think it might be a sit down restaurant but everywhere we look pretty things await us one thing that's apparently very unique to tokyo disneyland are these little i guess photo spots photo locations backdrops but not for human beings although of course humans can take photos with it as well we just did but it's mainly meant to be for your plushes so this one's obviously stella lou it's the rabbit of duffy's friends she's the ballerina it says what are your dreams extremely cheesy we've got the columbia ship in the background you've got tower of terror it's a nice photo location but like i said for the most part i've seen people come and put their plushes here and then they can take a photo of their plush rather than themselves with the backdrop and look at that little boat going past and speaking of Duffy and friends they've even got some of the lampposts decorated with them this one says summer night melodies and it's Duffy right next to it they've got summer night melodies Shelley May and I think it just keeps going there's a um, Zilla Tony over there I think that's the cat 
and then so on and so forth. And there's a little location here where you can meet Duffy and friends. Today apparently it's Shelly Mae, who I've never met before, and the wait time for her is only 20 minutes. Look at these bears in the display though. Different outfits for Duffy and friends is adorable. Also, check out the cute Duffy bunting over there. Look at them. They look so cute. How are you? Cute to see you. You look beautiful, Duffy. I love the bow and your outfit. I'm so happy to meet you. I've never met you before. I've always wanted to meet you, Duffy. It's my first time in Tokyo Disney ever. First time in Japan. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, you're so adorable. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Arigato. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that was adorable, but I just realized I called Shelly Mae Duffy. I don't know why. I somehow always seem to embarrass myself when I meet these interesting characters. So that was definitely Shelly Mae. Duffy is the main there, Shelly Mae is the girl. And we've got Thumper and Miss Bunny just doing a casual meet and greet there as well. They just literally came out now. Well, we have found our first popcorn stand, but not just any popcorn stand, one that sells soy sauce and butter popcorn. Now that's one thing that Tokyo Disneyland is actually very much famous for. They're meant to have a million different flavors of popcorn, apparently. It's gonna be the first one we try. I mean, soy sauce sounds good with butter, even better. I have to say it smells good already, I can smell it. There's a bit of a queue, but thankfully not too long. They also have the iconic Monsters Inc. popcorn bucket here, which we're both gonna get. I say both, the three of us, they're gonna get one for themselves. I'm gonna get one. And then they also have these cute things, which are meant to be like popcorn holders. You can attach them to your keychain or something. It's a little Mickey popcorn as well. And it's just meant to make your life easier, you know, so that your hands don't get dirty whilst you eat your popcorn. Arigato. We've got our popcorn buckets and I'm about to try it. My cousin's already tried it. She said it's all right. Um, this is the popcorn. Soy sauce and butter this is. Let's see. Okay, my verdict on the soy sauce and butter popcorn is that same as my cousin. It's okay, but it's not phenomenal, right? Mm, no, it's uh, normal. Exactly. It's not I don't, it doesn't really taste like soy. Mm, but the good thing is that it's not. I thought that it would be very uh, salty. Yeah, so it's not that. Much. And it's not. It's good. It's good popcorn. But the soy sauce flavor is very mild. My cousin's gonna show you the cute popcorn bucket as well. It's, it's actually really adorable. Amazing. Yeah, like even that. Boo's hat. Go on, <laughs> put it back on. Cute. And then what about the doors? No, they, I don't think you can open no, them. Never? They, no. Oh, no, you're you right. Open them, Maybe really on the cute. side. No. No, and the, here is like this. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, I don't think. How about it's the flower? It's, yeah, it's oh, Boo's door. <laughs> we just found out that it does actually open. It oh, goes into Boo's bedroom, that's right? Really cute, yeah. What about the other side? Let's try it as well. Maybe I have to pull you it out. You have to try it. <laughs> okay, I'll see if I can do it. It is a little bit difficult, but right? Mm, uh, Maybe this one doesn't do it. No, yeah, it doesn't. Oh. oh my god, Fatima, this is so cute. <laughs> I love it! Yeah. <laughs> That's the best one, right? Yes. That's so cute. Randall is here as well. Yeah, Randall's there too. Uh, Look at him. Amazing. Whilst it stopped raining, we thought we would try and go on this ride here. We don't know the name of it yet, but it looks quite fun and we could do with some water splashing on us. <laughs> we just got off, what was it called, the ride? Uh, Aqua... Topia, something like that. And apparently it was meant to be an experimental, like a science experiment. Uh, they kept saying like science... Experiment. Like having water Oh, celebrating, yeah. celebrating, celebrating science. science. Uh, the science experiment was just like basically completely soak us. Um, we're all completely wet entirely, even though we kind of used our ponchos a little bit as well. They literally, I mean, you're gonna get wet. I think they have different um, uh, versions of it. If you come in the winter, they're not, you're not gonna get as wet. But during the summer months, they obviously fully like splash you as much as possible. We laughed a lot. We nice. laughed yes, way too it. much. I was hiding under bottom as poncho. <laughs> still, still, still got fully wet. <clears throat> I laughed so much that my voice is going again because like, you know, when you laugh, I was like, <laughs> It was belly laughter as well, it was funny. We are now heading on to our next attraction, which is Soaring, 
We believe it's just over there. We think this might be the regular queue for it, but it's one of the attractions that we have a little fast pass for, or priority access, including the package. So hopefully we won't have to wait too long. Yep, that does indeed seem to be the queue for Sorin. And I love how it says Sorin here, like the full word rather than Sorin, like in the American parks with the apostrophe. We just looked, the regular queue was 105 minutes. Considering I think this Sorin is the exact same as the other parks, we'll have to see if it's one of uh, the world or Sorin over California. Leave a comment down below if you've done Sorin in any of the parks, there's also one in Shanghai. Would you wait 105 minutes for it? Hello. One cool thing though is that the waiting rooms here are phenomenal. I mean, look at the details here. As long as you're inside the attraction, if you have to wait inside, I feel like it's fine because there's so many paintings. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? You said mm -hmm. it's like it seems to be soaring around the world as well, like different parts of the world. You saw notice there are different attractions. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's amazing. And this woman, I'm, I'm guessing she's quite important. Buongiorno, Vadashinareta. Minasan, buongiorno. Fantastic Flight Museum ni yokoso. Sora o tobu koto ni taisuru watashitachi no atsui omoi ga tsumatte imasu. いつかきっと私も空を飛べる日がやってくると思いました。それから私は空を飛ぶことへの情熱と限りないイマジネーションを力に。バックルにしっかりと差し込んでください。座席の横に羽のマークがついています。その高さに満たない方は、シートベルト
obviously we're in August 2023, the summer season just generally in Japan is extremely hot so they sell these um, fans with Mickey on them, Fantasia Mickey, these Baymax uh, glasses are kind of calling my name, I might get them, I've seen a few different glasses already, they sell Mickey ones as well, we'll have to decide which one we go for. Of course they sell Tokyo Resort fans, so just like regular fans, this is the design of them, Mickey and Minnie, very cute. And then my cousin spotted these, these are just like sun cream, but I think this one might smell of these Mickey ice bars that they actually sell around the corner, we might try them later on. And then all these keychains, look at them, they're so cute, look at this! adorable they, just, they have merchandise for everything like some of their snacks are here you've got donald and daisy they come as a set chippendale oh my god judy hops and nick wilde oh my god look at his face his expression is hilarious and probably one of my favorite things that i've spotted so far this baymax hat now you can actually buy this hat like this will be your face here and you can wear it and if you really like wearing that hat you just want to have i don't know another souvenir of that hat not of baymax but of that particular hat then you can get the hat as a keychain. I mean, how specific and niche can you get? Oh my god, what did you find? Oh my god! Does that, does that go in? Does it come out of it? I don't think so. That's so cute though. Oh, that's so I love kidding. A cute Baymax with um, a random, random tat on it just chilling there. Like, <laughs> what do you think? This one is like a... Oh my god. I think you can actually get these in the other park. Like, you can get a Baymax burger. Is that burger? Yeah. A bun? I love that they, honestly, the snack, no, sorry, the snack game is amazing here, but also the merchandise. Look at that Baymax top, all so cute. Then they've got all these plushes with the hearts. There's honestly so much merch. People had warned me, but um, I don't, I'm not sure what this is meant to do, but um, you can also get a set of cute Baymaxes, the hat again. The, oh my god, they've got nail clippers. They've got Baymax Bikura 6 nail clippers. Toothbrush, toothpaste, mugs. There's just too many things to even... I really want to try and show you as much of the merch as I can, but I don't think I'm going to be able to cover it all, even with being here for five days. Here they have some of the iconic Tokyo Disneyland t-shirts. This one's quite nice. They also have a shirt. We can hear some volcano erupting behind us. Monsters University mugs over here. Oh, these are adorable as well. Look at that! It's like the Monsters University cap, but as a cushion. Honestly, they are so creative with their merchandise here. Tokyo Disney Sea is truly big. It's a big park. It's very well themed in the sense that even going from land to land, from place to place, the transitions are very well done. The music that you hear, no matter where you are, so in theme again with wherever you are. But we've just noticed that um, there's an Indiana Jones ride here. I don't know how I completely forgot. They've got an Indiana Jones ride here at Tokyo Disney Sea, and apparently it's meant to be the best one of all the Indiana Jones. I mean, it's not too difficult to be better than the one in Paris. That roller coaster is one that I rarely go on to be fair I've not been on it in years now but um oh and there's a, there's a Mickey meeting beat over there but yeah apparently it's even better than the one in California which I do actually really enjoy so we'll see what this one's like we're in the queue for Indiana Jones Adventure it's a 70 minute wait 7-0 um they do have single rider though so if you're coming on your own if you're willing to separate then that might be an option but we don't mind waiting especially because we're indoors as well well, it says 70 minutes at the front, but we've probably only been in the queue for about half an hour and we should be going on very soon. I'm not going to take you on the journey, I just don't think it's going to be a good idea, so I'll tell you all about it after. Well, Indiana Jones was amazing, so fun. Did you enjoy it? Yes. It was adventurous, it was thrilling. It's very similar to Dinosaur in Animal Kingdom in Florida or Indiana Jones, of course, in California, but better. It felt a bit longer. Um, the effects were probably just maybe it might just be me but it, it, to me it seemed that it, there was more effects there was more animatronics at one point we did go backwards for a little bit spoiler um, there was a snake there was there was a lot I really enjoyed that I feel like if you're coming to Tokyo Disneyland and uh, Tokyo Disney Sea specifically do not miss it if you've been to the one in California don't think that you can skip this this one's definitely different and in my opinion is better we're now in a very short queue to meet Donald there was Donald Mickey all many, I think each of them had about 20 minutes wait, which is unheard of in Disneyland Paris. Characters normally get an hour long wait. So 
especially in the summer months, they'd be like three, four hours long just to meet them. So maybe it's just better. I don't know, it's just a lot more efficient here. But Donald's actually wearing, because we're in the Indiana Jones area, all the characters are kind of wearing their explorer outfits, kind of pretending to be archaeologists. Maybe they are archaeologists, who knows? But the outfit's cute, and we were trying to decide which, which of the three we wanted to meet, and I think in the end, Donald's gonna be the best one, because Mickey and Minnie, how can you choose between them? But Donald, he's always number one. Guys, look at Goofy, though. This is the backdrop for the Donald meet. He is something else. Look at the outfit he's wearing. Oh my god. Beautiful guy, beautiful dog. <laughs> We are now going over a bridge. No idea where it's going to take us to. Perhaps back to the volcano because I can see the top of the volcano over there. But I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. The sounds of crickets everywhere, different insects, and oh, just spotted a little airplane just casually chilling there as well. We are now exploring a new part of Tokyo Disney Sea that we haven't been to yet until now. To my left, we've got Agrabah. I think it's called Agrabah anyway. I believe that's where the Sinbad ride is, which we might do today. We might not have time for today. We still do have at least one more full day here. And then on my right hand side, here we've got the Mermaid Lagoon, the aerial little mermaid part, which my cousin is very excited about. So am I. Then we're going to start with this one and see how it goes. Oh, hello. But <laughs> people love being on camera here. Anyway, we're going on Flounder's Coast now because we don't think it's got a very long queue. And we managed to see it in a very, very good way because one thing I've noticed Tokyo Disney does so far with my one day here is that they have these like signs that says photo spot or video spot, video location, places like that because they obviously love their photos and videos here. And there was one spot that said video spot. So we saw this video location sign and I was wondering what could it be? And it literally is like an amazing view of this roller coaster, Flounder's roller coaster. That's how we found it. That's how we found Flounder. And then we noticed the queue was only about 20 minutes, so that's why we're here. Anyway, as always, I'm not gonna actually take you on the ride, but I'll let you know what it's like afterwards. Well, that roller coaster was short but sweet. It was a nice, smooth ride. Very cute vehicle with the fish. It wasn't even flounder though, it was like a fish that seemed to be a girl. She had eyelashes. But anyway, we are now at this phenomenal mermaid lagoon slash aerial place they're playing little mermaid songs everywhere i mean what more do you want you guys know aerial is my bay <laughs> and so being here part of that world i really shouldn't sing Look at the details on these tiles. There's little mermaids here. There's a shell, a seashell, starfish. I mean, this this building in its own, just but forget about the rest of Tokyo Disney Sea that has already been phenomenal. This area in its own is beautiful and stunning to look at from the outside. I mean, look at the glitter up there. The sun is starting to set as well. It's getting dark. It gets dark quite quickly here in Japan, 6.30 roughly p.m. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing. It looks so sparkly and beautiful. And then when we go in, there's a dolphin. You've got Ariel's dad over there, King Triton. There's just a lot going on. And look at all of this. Lord have all the mercy. Look at this area. It's all indoors, which is definitely helpful during the summer months here. And I'm guessing when it's winter as well, when it gets too cold. And it seems to be very much like a family ride section. So they've got a ride that's similar to the teacups there. They've got some fish rides over there. I guess they just go up and turn round. They, I think you used to be able to meet Max and Eric here, but 
I don't think you can do that anymore. But it's very well themed and it's just like literally like a heaven for Ariel fans or Little Mermaid fans. It's amazing. Awesome. I mean, look at this. We're literally under the sea. How do you feel? Do you feel like a mermaid? Yeah. This is amazing. was lovely another short but sweet one I feel like this area is generally aimed at families or people who have little ones with them so that they can all enjoy together it can be a lot of people's first rides for instance but even as an adult or as three adults here we all enjoyed it but we are now heading into Sebastian's Calypso kitchen which we think is a quick service restaurant here it's currently about 7 30 p.m. we've all just realized that we haven't had any proper food today we've had loads of popcorns a couple of snacks one drink and maybe that's about it so we need to eat This is the children's pizza and it's literally a beef and mayonnaise pizza. Now I'm not normally the biggest pizza fan, but when it's Nikki shaped, obviously I'm gonna get it. But also when it's beef and mayonnaise, like there's actual mayonnaise on the pizza. We are in one of the shops in the Mermaid Lagoon area of Tokyo Disney Sea, and as you can imagine, it's full of Little Mermaid slash Ariel merchandise. My favorite thing, of course, being those two cushions. <laughs> oh my god, just look at them! It's literally Ariel as a cushion so you can have her I don't know you can literally just lie on her if you wish to she's looking beautiful she's got a flower in her hair and she's lying down I mean <laughs> is it bad that if I didn't have a 14 hour flight back I probably would consider buying it oh wow look at this you can make yourself flounder pancakes if you want to with that machine with that pancake maker there you go you can buy them here if you wish to and they even have these wonderful cups that have like very subtle aerial theming on them. I really like this blue one actually. Obviously these would never have survived the journey back home, but they are really nice. I love that one. They also have these Little Mermaid aerial ears, which I've seen Little Mermaid ears around the world in other Disney parks, but these are quite unique. They're actual seashells and they're soft. And then I really like the bow as well in the middle. Um, there seems to be some more aerial merch over here. Towels. They have a couple of pins actually, look at that. Um, Tokyo Disneyland is not very big on pins, um, it's just not a pin resort, but they do have a few here and there, and then these ones as well are quite nice, look at these, it's Ariel's princess shoe as a keychain, but in her colours almost like it's like an Ariel bound, not sure what these are, maybe, let me see if I can figure it out, definitely can't, but it's something plastic it requires batteries maybe it's like a light the details of the shop alone as well we are inside a whale by the way in case you didn't know I might have forgotten to mention but we're inside a whale you can see his entire mouth or her entire mouth here and we came from there there's a princess and prince Disney story book here I think it's just like a notebook to be honest oh my god 
masks, face masks that say Tokyo Disney Resort on them. And I think this is like a mask holder, which is just wonderful. I love Tokyo Disneyland. <laughs> they think of absolutely everything. And then here is another pen, King Triton's concert, which is quite cool. Okay, I'm about to leave this shop. You can literally see the whale's mouth and even the floor as well, that's his tongue. And now you can actually see what the entrance of the shop looked like. Iconic. And oh my god, the shop's official name is actually the Sleepy Whale Shop. And he's constantly asleep, or she, like I said. But you can see his eyes move, and more or less they're mainly closed. Well, the Mermaid Lagoon definitely served us well, and look how beautiful and sparkly it looks, even now that it's dark. It might even look better. We're going to quickly head over to this side just to check if the Sinbad ride may potentially not have a very long queue because the time at the moment, let me just show it to you, is officially 20 minutes past 8. The park closes at 9 p.m. today and currently the nighttime show is actually on. We didn't realize it started at 8. For some reason we thought it was a 9 o'clock showing so we'll watch it the next time we're in this park. But we thought seeing as we're not actually watching the nighttime show and most people probably are watching that show right now, it might not be too busy and we might be able to get one more ride in tonight before we head back to our hotel and there you go this is the entrance of Simbad's storybook voyage and we've got Simbad here himself come set sail with Simbad and Chandu Chandu's the little tiger over there thank you well that was literally that was a walk on guys wasn't it we literally walked onto the ride I just met a bunch of viewers over there <laughs> they're so sweet and we're gonna be on the next boat thanks guys thank you you too what were the chances? Tokyo Disneyland, some people here watch the vlogs. Thank you so much if you end up being those people. You're amazing. I hope you had an amazing time on the ride. Let's go. Guys, we have the boat to ourselves. Nobody behind us. It's literally just us. Aunt, how are you feeling? Like Sandman. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Amazing ride. That was also very long. It literally went through the story of Simbad, right? <laughs> and it was cute. The animatronics were adorable. The music I thought was quite cute actually. And the fact that it's such a long ride as well meant that if, even if you do queue, obviously for us it was a walk on, but if you queue, you'll be not going to be too annoyed because the ride itself is quite long. Hey! It is slowly but surely time for us to leave the park, but I wanted to show you this volcano one more time because it looks so cool in the dark you can see the smoke coming out of it you can hear the sounds of the water as well 
even some screams coming from the roller coaster, which I believe is journey to the center of the earth, which is a ride that we didn't manage to do today, but we do have a fast pass for it actually in a couple of days' time. So check out for that vlog coming up soon, hopefully. I have more or less lost my voice now. I mean, my voice was already gone at the beginning of this day, but now I feel like I'm genuinely struggling to speak. Park closes in about 10 minutes. We are gonna now head to our room at the Toy Story Hotel. I might show you a little bit of it and then bid you farewell. Like I said, if you wanna see a tour of the hotel, which I can't wait to film, I haven't filmed it quite yet because I haven't even seen our room yet. But once I do, I'll obviously show you everything, all the details. And if you wanna find out what that's like, make sure you subscribe, notification bell on. And if you wanna get a glimpse of it, stay tuned because there'll be a few more video minutes of this video left. Bye. Thank you so much. Just kidding, we managed to squeeze in one more ride. It's a submarine ride. It was a walk on again, we're about to go on it now. It's literally three minutes to nine, so we're doing really well. We've done so many rides so far, we've had so many characters. We're knackered, but we're loving life. Thank you so much, thank you. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Captain Leo, yeah. yeah submarine. submarine, there you go. Iconic. Jules Van, this land time is Discovery Land. Hello, thank you so much, thank you. Guys, again, it's literally just us under the sea. Three of us. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Let's go. How was 20,000 leagues under the sea? It was amazing. It was so good. Yeah. That was such a good ride. And we just about, we just about managed to fit it in before the park fully closed. We've more or less done all the main attractions here apart from the two that we've got fast passes for next time we're here. All of them have been amazing. And one thing I thought I would mention as well, I was a little bit worried about coming to Tokyo Disneyland about, you know, some of the filming rules that they might have here. But it's so clear as to which rides you're allowed to film on and take photos on and which rides you shouldn't use a camera on. So really not hard at all to really obey the rules. It's been really easy actually and it's put my mind at ease as well, knowing that I'm very much following the rules here because it's been so clear. Cast members even have like signs for some of the rides where you definitely can't take photos or videos on them. And so even if you don't understand um, Japanese, you'll see them. I've been watching quite a few Tokyo Disneyland vlogs coming up to our trip here to Japan because I've been so excited. Look at this. Look at the volcano. And there's definitely been some vloggers who have more or less filmed on every single ride. And I saw that, I remember watching those vlogs and being like, oh, maybe it's allowed and maybe you can. And then I've seen some vlogs where they've not filmed on any rides. Like I said, it's so clear. It can be clearer. The cast members make it very clear. On some rides you can. And on the rides and attractions where you can't take photos and videos, it couldn't be clearer because they literally hold signs, like I said, with X's on the cameras. And then some of them, it's absolutely fine. And the way you know that is because, number one, there's no sign that says you can't take photos. But also the cast members are very happy to be in the camera. Like, they might wave at you. They might see the camera and be like, yay. They'll obviously see you with the camera. They won't say anything about you holding a camera. So it was a lot easier than I thought, basically. If you're a vlogger watching this, don't be stressed. If you want to obey the rules, it really isn't that hard. They make it very clear, even if you don't speak Japanese. Look at this view though, look at this view, this Tower of Terror over there, hopefully we'll be doing that in a couple of days time. We've got this lake here, Hotel Miracosta, which I would absolutely love to stay in one day. It's one of the most expensive hotels here, I think it's the first expensive one here, then the second might be Tokyo Disneyland. And then, yeah, this is literally the entrance of Disney Sea though, it's amazing, it's very unique. And can you believe that that's a hotel? Because I keep looking at it and I'm like, is it a real town? Are we in Italy or something? No, it's an actual hotel in a theme park, guys. Tokyo Disney Sea, you are on another level. I had heard so many amazing things and I have not been disappointed once today. Everything has been amazing, quality of rides amazing, snacks, the food that we ate, even though we didn't eat too much, the, what we did eat was really good. Cast members have been amazing and the park itself is so beautiful, so pristine, so clean and so detailed. Like my cousin and I were just talking with my aunt as well 
I don't think we've ever seen this much detail in a theme park before. It is just stunning. enjoyed your day at Tokyo Disney Sea. Thank you for visiting and we look forward to seeing you again soon. We're in our room now. The room is. Is it not, Fatima? Is it not? Yes, it's beautiful. Can it's you do amazing. it? <laughs> no, I can't. I'm not doing that. I knew she wouldn't. I knew I she would. It. Okay, she, appro she approves. It's like, oh my god, the clock just says it's 11 30. Mm -hmm. Like There's I said. There's just so much of everything. So yeah, details. details are amazing. Mm -hmm. What should they do if they want to see a full tour of this video? Should they subscribe, maybe? Yes. There you go. Thank you. Tokyo Disney Sea was beautiful. It Did you enjoy it? Nice. Yeah, okay. very nice. Um, especially when you consider that they are not using any flowers to decorate True. or such things, so they are paying more attention to the such details. details. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, very well. That's a good point, actually. Yes. Most parks that we've been to, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, places have like that have a lot of flower displays. Yeah, things like that make up a lot of the park that's so true this was all just things that were made built to make it was amazing very immersive i just put a post on my instagram about it as well theming second to none no, really. detail second it was very clean like yeah. was it not clean yes it was really clean so yes lots of attention to detail yeah like, mm. i don't think i saw a single thing that needed more attention you know what I mean? No, that's true though. Like mm -hmm. nothing looked old or no. dirty. Everything no. was clean. Cast members were amazing. They seemed to love really waving friendly. here. Yeah, we waved a lot, didn't we? Mm. <laughs> but no, very friendly, very helpful. extremely helpful. Mm. Even when they don't understand our language, because why should they? We're in their country. Um, they have ways to help. Um, mm -hmm. One a cast member in particular, I went to ask her a question, and obviously, unfortunately, I don't speak Japanese, so I tried my best to <laughs> ask it to her. She had a machine, and she just typed oh, in I the answer. Yeah, it was that journey in, um, into it was uh, sorry, which, which was the ride that broke down that we didn't get to go. On. What was oh, it called? Yes, that one. She really? said her, she whatever she wanted in a machine, and it translated it to English and then she just showed it to me and I kind of got the gist so and she was doing it to many other people as well so it's very patient cast members very helpful mm. amazing first day really we were in the parks for more or less the whole day got there at around 10 left at 9 30 close to 12 hours in the parks and tomorrow we've got to wait Tokyo Disneyland the main park so make sure to stay, stay tuned for that I'm very tired mm. we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.